This is the Pico Calc by Clockwork Pi. It's known as the perfect device for tech enthusiasts and hardware modifiers alike. It has completely amazed me by how epic it is. In this video, you'll see the sped up unboxing process, uh, like slash build process, and then me doing a lot of different things with it. So I hope you enjoy this video. And let's go. The Pico Calc is relatively cheap compared to your normal everyday computer. But I would say it's just as capable. It, even though it only has about 260 kilobytes of RAM and 2 megabytes of flash, it can do a lot more than you think. It is comfortable to type on, has a nice and large screen, and it's relatively light. The buttons are very nice and clicky, and it has all the buttons that a normal computer would have. There's, you, it takes 18650 regular flat top batteries, and it has GPIO ports on the side. It has a volume knob and more. There's an SD card slot on the side too, to extend your storage from just 2 megabytes of flash to having a 32 gigabyte USB. Here I have the PicoCAC plugged in. This is because I haven't bought the batteries yet. Soon you'll see it with batteries. And voila, it's turned on. And I'm currently opening B drive, which is known as the SD card. The PicoCAC is an amazing device. I may be like glazing, let's say glazing this device too much. But if you know what you're doing, if you have some programming experience, hardware experience, all of that, PicoCAC is the perfect device. But one thing, if you buy it and you want to assemble it, be careful with screen FPC cable. This cable, lots of people have broke and it can be quite a difficult process to get a new screen. Also, that cable took me half an hour to get in, which was really frustrating as I really wanted to get my hands on the PicoCAC working. There's an amazing community on Discord and Reddit, which had helped me a lot. Like, I didn't know that I could just plug it in in normal power and use the PicoCAC until my batteries arrived. Because I was devastated that I had to wait a bit for my batteries to come. The PicoCAC has a lot of things. Like, you can play games, especially text-based ones, but not just text-based games. Proper graphical games as well. You can pl like have lots of apps on it and more. I'm working in op on an operating system myself. And I'll show that to you guys in a later video. The Pico Calc has a Raspberry Pi Pico board. As the name comes from Pico Calc. As its core. And then its main board is made by Clockwork Pi themselves. To connect the battery power the USB-C slot, all of that together, and have the main processing output there. The Raspberry Pi Pico is quite a powerful board, despite its limitations, I would say. It comes with Raspberry Pi Pico 1, but supports both the Pico 2 and the Pico 2 Wi-Fi variant, Pico 2 W. It is quite a good board, as of current standards for the size, but... I can't wait until Pico 3 comes out. I want to see what kind of specifications it will have. I have two 18650 batteries inside of the speaker calc. Each of them with 2600 milliamp power, Which tops me off at 5200 milliamp power if I did the math right. That's quite a bit of battery life. Especially for a computer like this, which wouldn't use that much battery. So I'm estimating I wouldn't have to charge it anymore. Then once every two days, I guess. Having it on, well, currently in this like clip, that I'm not having on battery power, but you'll see soon I will have it on battery power. Plugged in, obviously it can last for however long the power comes. And plugged in, the light on the right side, where it says Pico Calc, will be green. But if you're running off battery power, that would be orange slash yellow. There are many upon many apps on the PicoCalc and software that have been built specifically for the PicoCalc. But as this is a very new device and it's very upcoming, there's still much that the community can do. And it's not reached its top limit yet. For me, the PicoCalc took about, I would say, three weeks to arrive. 
but for some people it takes up, up to a month or a month and a half. You might want to order it soon because of the tariffs from Donald Trump coming recently. This is as of May 2025. And yes, the tariffs have been annoying for some people, but they're not in place yet. So shipping times will be as usual. But one big warning, the shipping costs are really, really high. They cost, I'm pretty sure, 10, no, 20 US dollars. 20! Isn't that insane? That's probably because they're going from an external shipping company. I can make it a little bit more complicated for them to ship it to different countries across the world. Okay, guys, I finally got the batteries for my PicoCalc. This device is absolutely amazing. I probably already told you so many times before in this video, but come on, with batteries, it's even cooler. And look at this thing. You just turn it on. Instead of green light, it's now orange light because you know, it, it's because it's on batteries, so it's orange light. Okay, and I, I obviously have this startup just like before. Greetings, Commander Astrox. I can do B cousin, which accesses my SD card. And I can type files. And it will show all the files in my SD card currently. I have two directories, which is folders. And I have all, all of these just randomly sorted in the SD card. One of them is the operating system I'm working on. More details about that later. One of them is the game I'm working on. You've probably heard of it. One of them is just a short simulation I'm working on. There's a JPEG file for some reason. I've got to check that out later. There's this random circles thing, which I'll show you really soon. There's a .uf2 file flasher that I've made myself. So now we can do run. And we can do ran random circles dot b a s dot no wait, I forgot the dot dot b a s okay the so dot b a s is the basic file extent extension if you didn't know and now we hit enter and yeah that's a programmer basic and to stop the thing we do shift the escape which has a break thing and stops open the little terminal you can do cls and do new to remove all of the previous program thing from memory if you want to check how much memory you have currently type memory for me it says program zero kilobytes getting used as i just clicked i said new there's a lot you can do on this device as okay let's display files again I'm sorry if you guys can't see this clearly. I'm really sorry. Uh, and then you do chdir, which is choose directory. And then in the quotation marks, I'll do games software. And okay, now I do files again. Okay, now here is a lot of games and software I have on the Pico Calc. I added this from a user on GitHub, which I'll most likely link down below. And there are so many upon so many different files. Like, there's a calculator, there's a, lots of games, etc. Now we can go back to here, and we can do so much. This is a portable computer made by Clockwork Pi. It may look not that capable, but with the right modding, the right operating system, and the right mindset, everything can be possible. There's a core board called the Luxfox Lyra, which lots of people have got because of its low price, but it has the same amount of RAM as the Pico, but it has a faster CPU, which makes it a little more ideal for some people, as I like to say. I don't prefer having the Luxfox Lyra in my Pico gag. And it completely removes the Pico from the Pico Calc. And it also isn't compatible that much with the Pico Calc yet. But people like Michael Mayer on YouTube have been trying to do stuff for the Luxfox Lyra and make it more compatible with the Pico Calc. His work is awesome. I recommend that you go check him out. The Lyra is quite a powerful board. And 
It's more powerful than the Pico, but I sincerely prefer the Pico, but it's up to choice of everyone. Okay, so there'll be much more videos like this that I'll have. But until I have more videos, please like, subscribe, share, and enjoy!